Hello and welcome to another episode of Foss Cooking. In today's video, I'm going to be making a full meal. Of course, I've got some chicken drums here, as you can see, but I've also got some spinach that I'm going to be cooking, and I've got some rice that I'm going to cook up as well. So there you go, a full meal that's going to be delicious, nutritious, and it's not going to break the bank. It doesn't cost too money because in my neck of the woods, prices of chicken haven't really changed. Uh, of course, things like beef and lamb, they're up like 40%. It's been really crazy. Uh, but yeah, chicken, not really that expensive. So it's not going to break the bank and we're going to be able to get all of our macros. So let's get started. I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in this pan here. I'm going to be baking the drums. So this is going to keep them from sticking to the pan and making all that skin come off. And I am going to be keeping the skin. All right. We're uh, kind of easing into cutting, you know, so I'm not going to really be doing skinless chicken. Honestly, I'm not that big a fan of skinless chicken anyway. Uh, but yeah, we're going to be eating a little bit healthier moving forward so that we can lose that fat that we put on during the bulk. All right, I'm gonna start laying these drums in here and I'll show you what I got for seasoning in just a moment. So I've got this Montreal chicken seasoning. I think I've shown this off on the channel before in a Let's Cook before. Uh, this is pretty good, but there's one gripe that I have with the Montreal chicken seasoning. It doesn't have any spice at all. It's got flavor, but no spice. Uh, not sure what that's all about. Um, I mean, it's Montreal, so I guess Montreal, Canada, maybe hot stuff is illegal there because it makes the ice melt and then they can't play hockey because like, I don't know, 80% of Canada's economy is based on hockey. So I've got some cayenne pepper here that we're gonna add in, combine them and it's gonna be great. heavy with the spices. I mean, there was so much effort put into spreading spices all over the world, right? Because most of them only come from a few countries. So you might as well use them. People a thousand years ago would have killed for the opportunity to have this much spice. need some more of the spice. Thank you. 
right, let's hit this chicken with some cayenne. Yeah, I'm just gonna put the rest of it on here. So I've got my oven heated up to 360 degrees. I like to cook my chicken at that temperature for about an hour, pretty much until it's almost all the way done. And then I like to crank the temperature up to about 420 degrees uh, and then cook it for about 10, 15 minutes just to let the skin get nice and crispy, you know, let the outside get crispy. Uh, so yeah, let's go ahead and throw it in for that initial hour or so of cooking. start cooking the rice. I'm planning on making just one cup of rice, so I've got two cups of water here that I'm going to bring to a boil. going to cut the temperature back a little bit and I'm going to scoop some Kerrygold butter in there. Good little bit, about that much. Let's stir in our one cup of rice. Make sure you give it a good stir to get that water and butter in between all the grains of rice. Now we're going to cover it up, let it cook for a few minutes.
All right, now I'm gonna go ahead and cook up the spinach in this pan here. So the spinach cooks up really, really quickly if you just cook it in olive oil real quick, uh, wash it off, you know, get it wet. You should wash it anyway. Cook it in a little bit of olive oil. So if you wanna have everything ready at the same time, I'd recommend doing this last. leaves around. Um, I didn't really preheat the pan that much so it's uh, the initial batch will probably take a little while to actually cook but if you let the pan get hot it cooks really quick. It's actually my timer for the chicken. So I'm gonna take a look at that. Just a moment, see if it's done. looks to be done. Chicken looks like it could go for a couple more minutes. Take out this first batch. splash more olive oil in there.
All right, spinach is done. Oh boy, if that doesn't look like a great meal, I don't know what does. So let's go ahead and dig in. I'm gonna try the rice and the spinach first. Right now, neither one of these have any seasoning on them uh, beyond, I guess, the butter that I cooked the rice in, you know, that little bit of butter I added to it, and the olive oil that I cooked the spinach in. So let's see how it tastes, just by itself. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad, honestly. I might put a little bit of salt and pepper on it, but it's not terrible. So let's try the rice. This is actually my first time cooking rice with the uh, Kerrygold butter. Yeah, it's actually pretty good too. Usually I would not like plain rice at all like that. I would have to put something on it, but I mean, it's tolerable. Now I am gonna put a little something on it. A little bit more of that Montreal chicken seasoning. Doesn't need a lot though. You know, just, just a little, little sprinkling on there. Stirred in. Yeah, I'll just combine it a little bit. I mean, why not? I don't mind mixing my spinach and my rice. There ain't nothing wrong with that. Oh, yeah. That's the stuff right there. Just a little bit of seasoning. Mm-hmm. That's perfect. Mmm. I could eat that all day, but we gotta get to the start of the show. This chicken. Alright. I'm gonna take a nice bite out of this big old leg there. Look at that. You can see that that skin got nice and crispy by how it shrunk up. That's what cooking at uh, 420 and then I cranked it up a little bit to uh, 450 because it wasn't looking that crispy. But yeah, that's what that'll do. Mmm. 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 That's some good chicken. That's really good. As you guys already know, I got to have my chicken with some hot sauce. So, got a little bit of sriracha here. And put some of that right there on that drum like this. Boom. You gotta have hot sauce to eat your chicken. It's an absolute must. Mm-hmm. Mm. You know, sriracha actually pairs really good with this. Mm-hmm. It goes great with this chicken. Usually I don't do sriracha on my chicken. I usually go for like Louisiana or something like that, but I don't have uh, any Louisiana. <laughs> Should probably just make some homemade hot sauce, you know? My dad used to make it when I was growing up. I should see if I've got one of his old recipes written down somewhere. 
Because mm. if I see as the means of production of my own chicken, my own hot sauce, what more do I need at that point? Mm-hmm. Well, guys, I'm gonna go sit down and enjoy this meal. But now, this delicious, nutritious, and affordable meal is fully open source. Feel free to fork it, make your own changes to it, try it out at home, and let me know how you liked it. Peace.